Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to make a few stick welds using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. So in the stick welding mode it operates from 10 to 170 amps at a 25 percent duty cycle. So hang out for a few minutes and let's take a look at some of the welds that we can make using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. So I fit together two pieces of 3 16 thick 316 stainless steel. I fit them together in an outside corner joint. I had myself some 316L-16 stick electrode rod. And I set the machine at about 100 amps and set it on DC electrode positive. I set up the joint that it was in the flat position and went ahead and filled up the outside groove. If it had a weld symbol for this exact weld, it would look like this, a fillet weld with a convex contour symbol. You can see even if stainless steel comes in contact with carbon steel, it will still rust. Our electrode is 1 8 in diameter. The amperage was set at 100 amps DC. The arc force was set midway at 5. The hot start was also set at 5. And as a good starting point, I set the arc length at 5 also. So I struck the electrode and tried to maintain a short arc length and maintain the proper rod angle and travel speed throughout the entire length of the joint. The machine had a nice smooth arc and kept the puddle nice and full. As I proceeded along, I wanted to watch the edge and make sure that it wasn't too full and overflowing the sides and causing what we call cold lap or lack of fusion along the edges. So I came down to the end and instead of letting it spill out off of the end, I broke the arc and then put one more little daub in there to fill it up. Since the surface of the weld was smooth, Taking the slag off was a breeze. A few easy taps and it popped right off. Make sure you've got your safety glasses on to make sure that you don't get a piece of the slag into your eye. Then after chipping the slag off, just a quick wire brush is all that's needed to remove the balance of anything left on there. The machine had a nice smooth arc that gave a nice smooth weld. So I went ahead and decided to finish off the outside corner like I was making some kind of food equipment or something for a pharmaceutical or a brewery application. So I wanted to finish it off so it had no uh, dents or pits or anything like that in it, uh, which is what we need to have if it's going to be in any kind of food or dairy or pharmaceutical application because those areas and those pieces of equipment need to be sanitized and cleaned up at the end of every shift or the end of every run. Uh, so there can't be any kind of pits or dips or dings or anything like that uh, in the weld. So uh, doing it with a stick weld on uh, some thicker plate like this is going to be a two-step process. So first step is, is I put the hard disc on there or the abrasive uh, grinding wheel, not the uh, soft flapper disc and, and went ahead and ground that off and got that looking smooth. Uh, once I got that roughed out, uh, then I went ahead and I stepped over and I switched out to the flapper disc, the 60 grit flapper wheel that I have, uh, and slowly worked on that. So what I did first was made sure that I got each adjacent surface flat and flush and clean. So I hit the top there first and then I did the vertical surface there and once I had a good clean surface to work off, then I went back and forth, back and forth, trying to blend the weld in so that it would match into those two adjacent surfaces. So that's the first step, is always make sure that you grind off the flats first and then work the weld into those, not the other way around. Uh, so when we get done, you get a nice, smooth, clean, even finish uh, that if it had to be uh, cleaned up and sanitized, it could. So thanks again for taking a few minutes out of your day to look at some of the capabilities of the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. Thanks again, and have a great day.